hope you all are doing wonderfully. Okay, so I need a new house. <laughs> I actually love our house. It's it looks the way I want it to. I took a lot of care in decorating and everything, but it's really important to me that everybody feel comfortable in the house. And the other day, Abby said, hey, we need a new house. And I said, that's what you think. <laughs> but then she told me that she felt like the roof was going to fall in on her head in her room. And I said, that's what you think. <laughs> But then she told me that um, it's actually kind of hard for her to decorate because it's a very, it's a weirdly shaped room. I will admit that. It's pretty weirdly shaped. And um, it's hard for her to cam around in it because it's not just a, a big square or, I don't know. Okay. So, <laughs> in our last house, Abby said that she didn't feel like she could make her room the way she wanted because it was too big and it didn't feel cozy enough. So when we got this house, we gave her the smallest room because she wanted a small room that she could make cozy, but now it's too small and I don't know, my child is strange. <laughs> Birdie kind of just does whatever with what she's got, but Abby is a little bit more particular because she's my kid, so of course she is. So I asked the group last night, Hey, where are you guys getting houses? Because I have a lot of houses. Um, I am a blogger for Barnsworth Anubis, and so he sends me all his houses, and they're beautiful houses, but they have the problem of either being too huge or too small, or the rooms are just not exactly what we want. I am, I'm not super, super picky about houses, but I guess I kind of am because I require at least three bedrooms, um, preferably four. We can do three if there is an extra room for an office or a blogger space or something like that. Um, I also require that it has a bathroom because I'm weird like that and I like my houses to be on the more realistic side of things and that requires a bathroom. And then, of course, we have to have a large, spacious living room and a kitchen, and it has to be pretty, and it has to not be too many, uh, too much land impact. I was going to say prims. I'm trying to get out of the habit of saying prims, but old school habits die hard. Anyway, so as the group, you know, hey, where do I, where do I find it? These houses that. I don't, I don't know, there needs to be just like a store that says, Alicia, get your house here. But there's not, so we have to go looking. And I thought, hey, let me drag you guys along with me as I go looking at some houses. I dragged Birdie along last night to a couple of places. And I do literally mean dragged, because it was basically come here, and then I just dragged her around. I don't know if she had anything planned for... <sighs> Doggy, what are you doing? <laughs> Oh my gosh. Do you see this dog? It's uh, part of the, one of the, uh, ah. it's part of the set from Gian for the Epiphany, and I love it. He's so cute. Just love. Anyway, thought we would go look at some houses because I don't really know what's out there. Um, I used to buy tons of houses. I used to change the house like almost weekly, but it's been a few years since I've actually done that, so I thought, hey, let's go and check out some houses and see what's out there, and maybe we will find something good for me. So this seems like a pretty nice place, uh, just kind of camming around. There looks like the houses look very large and spacious, so that is pretty good. Dog, I'm going to have to train you to quit digging. I wanted to find somewhere that I don't really know all that well um, because, again, I have all the houses from Barnsworth and Nubis. I know all of the houses at Roost, and um, that's basically where my <laughs> where my house knowledge ends. Um, oh, I, we did go last night to look at the ones at uh, DAD because they have that really nice one at Famish this month. And then we went and checked out the store, but um, as much as I like the outside of the house, because they kind of go like for a more vintage look, the insides were just not what we needed. But really nice houses. If I were single or something, um, probably would get one. 
but with kids it's a little different because you have to think about where you're going to put them and all of that. This is so cute. Like, their, the garage has drywall. <laughs> Too cute. And there's little balloons in here like an open house. Oh, that's adorable. These houses are really actually pretty, but I think they just might be too much house for us. Um, this is a, this is nice and it's very open and very spacious, but no, really not what I'm looking for. And I kind of feel like I just had gone into that one, but, um, a little too McMansion for me, looking for something with just a little bit more character, but if you are a family and you require a large home, I would suggest Dominion because these houses are actually very beautiful and um, you may like it. So let's pick somewhere else. Okay, this place, Bentley Homes, says that they have the most realistic luxury homes. Let's go see if that's true. I'm always a little bit leery of places to say, you know, this is the most and the best and it's, it's, it's awesome. I have the best homes. <laughs> These homes are so great. They're huge. <laughs> I also just realized that I had voice on this entire time <laughs> because I wanted my, I wanted um, my mouth to move, but you know what? Not worth it. Oh my god, how embarrassing. <laughs> Luckily, I think there was only one other person at that other Zim, but, um, <laughs> oops. You could be really surprised if I don't get kicked out of here for all of that. But, oh my god, why are these houses so big? It's just so big. That's what she said. Um... Good lord. This is so much more than we need. If you have a huge family and you totally need all this room, then um, this may be the house for you, but no. <laughs> this is good grief. No, I mean, it, it's nice, and it's well done, and it looks like something that you can probably customize, but, um, I think it's a little much for us. <laughs> These houses just look so big. Oh my gosh. Okay, so there's new homes this way. But if you like huge, huge houses, this might be it for you. This one actually isn't that bad. Let's, uh, let's go over there, and we'll check that one out. I don't know. I think it's a little too much still. God, even those chairs. Is this a house for giants? Or what's the deal? Oh my god. Okay, so I'm just going to stop looking and um, or at least using search to look. And I am going to head over to Bella Rose, which was suggested to me in chat last night. And they said that the houses were really nice and um, they're a little bit more pricey than maybe I would be used to. But if the houses are really nice, then we'll, we'll figure out something with the price. So let's go to Bella Rose and we'll see what they've got. Okay, so we are out here now at Bella Rose, and Bella Rose also makes furniture, which is pretty cool. Um, because then at least, you know, if you buy the furniture, it probably fits in your house, and that's always kind of a concern. Um, we bought a kitchen once that just did not fit in our house at all. Right now I'm using the LIQ Decor Kitchen, but um, I borrowed that from my sister, so <laughs> that's how I got that to fit in there. So far, I'm liking the outside of these houses. They seem to have like a lot of personality. And um, it's a bit laggy, which I don't know if it's the sim or if it's me, but uh, it could be me because I tend to lag just a little bit when I am recording. So I won't hold that against the sim. This one is kind of cool. Let's see, what is this house? This is Blueberry Patch Bungalow. Oh, cute. I, I like when it looks like it has personality already. 
these houses are decorated and I am going to assume that everything that you see in the houses um, you can also buy here at Bella Rose. So that's pretty cool. Look at those doors. <laughs> that's cute. Yes. That's a little bedroom. And a little bathroom. That's cute. Um, this house would be too small for us actually. So I'm not going to go in there. But I just wanted to look at it real quick while I'm waiting for everything to res. Ooh, is this a... Is this a sunroom on this house? Oh, I love sunrooms. Is this the... F okay. I really should just wait for things to res, right? That would be the easy way. So, is that the front door? Or what are we... What am I looking at here? Oh, no, this is the front. Okay. Oh my god, there's a girl. Shh, you guys. Don't let her know we're recording. <laughs> I don't know why I'm whispering. Okay, so this is... <laughs> why am I so weird? Uh, what house is this? I, I like it, though. Like, the outside, I already really like this. This is... Uh, the Aubrey three-bedroom home. Oh! You guys know that I do need three bedrooms. This might be a contender. <laughs> I could have been a contender. Oh my god, why am I so weird? Um... See, and there's a door, and oh my god, there's a girl in here. You guys, shh, don't let her see you. Oh my god. <laughs> she's all in pink, too. We might be twins. And she's blonde. I think we're twins, you guys. This is a cute house, though. Oh my god. Look at it. With a little kitchen. And this living room is nice and cozy, but still open. <gasps> oh my god, I love this house. This is so pretty. Okay, I'm just going to have to stand and cam because um, I'm lagging so badly. Oh, I love this bathroom set. You can buy it here, right? Uh, white texture change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all made by the same person. Cool. But check out the sunroom. Oh my god, there's so much I could put in this room. <gasps> I love it. What even? Where has this house been? <laughs> I love the staircase. Oh, hi, lady. I love the staircase. Oh my goodness. Okay, I know so I was going to camp, but let's go upstairs so that we're not in her. Hi, lady. You like your dress? Not really. So we've got this room that looks out on the street over there. Kind of just a plain square room. And this room is basically identical to that one. The only thing different are the windows, I think. Yeah, because that one has a row of four, and this one has a separation in between, I think. Yes. Okay. And then, I'm assuming this one is the master bedroom. With a balcony. Oh my god! Oh my god! You guys! I want this house! I can already... Oh my god, I can already picture so many ways to decorate. I want this house. Oh my god. I just feel good about this house. I don't know what it is. It's so pretty. How much is it? Just two oh, this is the group price, I believe. I thought I read something like that when I popped in here. And then the uh, thirty-two ninety-nine for the non-group price. Hmm. But I just really like it. I'm gonna have to get Alduin to come look at it with me. And maybe the girls too. Just so that we can decide. <gasps> there she is again, you guys. Let's walk past. Um, let's see. Okay, so this house is definitely... I don't... I don't even want to 
look at the other houses now. I just want this one. Oh my goodness. It's beautiful work. Okay. Let's be, let's be reasonable here yourself. Let's see what's going on. So this is a three bedroom house. Mod copy, thank God. And how much land impact? It looks like everything is all connected. So 134. Oh my God, that's so good. Did that, did that actually collect everything? Yeah, it looks like. Okay. Oh my god, I love it. I love it so much. Ah! Well, thanks for coming with me as I look at houses and was incredibly weird and <laughs> whispered too much, probably. I'm so sorry about that. I may end up cutting all of that out in editing, and this may actually only be like five minutes long as I just squeal over one particular house. Who knows? You never know what's going to happen. <laughs> But, um, if you guys know of any other home stores that might have some houses that I would want to look at, let me know in the comments below. I would love to go check them out. But as it seems right now, yeah, I really like that Aubrey house from Bella Rose. So I might need to not spend so much at the Epiphany and go get it. <laughs> we'll see what happens. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and also hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and hit the little bell next to the subscribe button if you want to be notified when I do a video. Why you'd want that, I don't know, but hey, it's your life, right? Until next time, I love you guys and I'll see you soon.